this word is for those of you that feel like because last week you went through so much trial, uh, um, afflictions, tribulations, that this week and this new month, the enemy is not going to come after you. Some of you actually have that mentality that because the enemy afflicted you last week, that this week it's not going to happen. And I'm here to tell you, I'm here, I'm here to encourage you that the word of God says that the enemy, Satan, he goes around like a roaring lion looking for who he wants to devour. Right, so it's so important for you to be on guard every single time. You need to understand that the enemy is constantly trying to find a way to afflict and attack you every single day. There's something the Lord told me. Uh, uh, I think it was last week or two weeks ago. He said to me, "Glenn, the enemy is relentless. The enemy is relentless. You understand? The enemy is not, you know, trying to give up today, you know, and then let you rest. No, 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 no. The enemy is constantly, constantly on your case. So I want you to understand that you are in a war zone. I've said it many times." before you're in a war zone as a christian as a child of god so you need to constantly make sure that you are armed with the sword of the spirit don't be relaxed every single day thinking last week i went through war god has delivered me now i'm free i'm fine i'm okay and the enemy is just waiting for the next time to come boom and try to attack you and then you're not armed god wants you to be ready and steady and um, understand that the enemy is definitely going to continue to come after you because you're a christian because you're a child of god the enemy doesn't want you to make heaven the enemy doesn't want you to draw near unto christ he doesn't want you to have any union any oneness of mind with the spirit of god so he's going to come after you so you need to understand that this very week as well this very week as well many of you will also be attacked by the enemy and you need to be on guard with the word with the sword of the spirit Amen. And constantly be prayerful. It's so essential because when you are prayerful, especially in the spirit, it helps you to be more sensitive to your environment and to the spirit of God. And then he can prepare you for what the enemy has already planned that he wants to bring your way. Understand that you all be warned and don't be relaxed. God's word says something in, uh, I think it's in Zechariah. It says, woe to them that are um, at ease in Zion. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion. Don't be at ease. Don't be relaxed. Constantly be on guard. Be praying. Be in the word. Be in the spirit, woman of God. Man of God. Amen. Be blessed you all.